Hello, this is Jackie, and today we are at the Gagosian Gallery here in central London for Katerina Grosse's Prototypes of Imagination exhibition. You are going to absolutely love this one. How would you describe Katerina's art, in your opinion? Well, Katerina is a, a mid career painter um, working in the 21st century, so she is, although she works with a lot of you know traditional impulses in painting she works in quite a radical way in terms of i think she works on the largest scale of any painter i know male or female in from any part of the world um, she works exclusively with spray paint um, not from a can she works with an air compressor so she's in a way a bit like a deep sea diver. She's, she often works all day connected to a paint source using a spray gun. So that allows her to work on an incredible scale at an incredible speed and producing effects that are really very, very unique. Because imagine if you're a painter working with a paintbrush and mixed paint or paint cans, you're constantly going from your canvas back to your paint cans, dipping, you know, refilling your brush. And she just works in protective clothing, in a masked environment, as I said, almost like an astronaut or a deep sea diver, just really immersed in what she's doing and working on this incredible scale, which is the scale of architecture, the scale of landscape. And she's one of the first artists who's really brought painting into that kind of equivalence. And prototypes of imagination, just as an exhibition, I mean, just being here, what does it feel like? What is what sort of what's what's here for people that um, have never seen that before? Well, one of the one of the there are a series of adjectives that I'd use, and which is what the, is what you sort of get from Katerina as a person as well, because I, I think the person in a way is very like the work. Words like exuberant, exhilarating, invigorating. There's just so much compressed energy in an exhibition like this, which is very much about the compression of paint, you know, because working with an air compressor, paint is being forced through air. And so it's really causing this kind of explosion of effect. How vibrant and colorful is Katerina's work? This one in particular behind me is one of my favorites that I've seen today because there's a lot of movement and it says so much about the person that Katerina really is. This exhibition does run until July, so make sure you come and pop along. I've been Jackie, see you soon.